Hi. Um, today I wanted to talk about my camera evolution. I'm quite excited to do that. Uh, so let's get started. So I wanted to start with the very first one. Um, it is this little guy over here. It's like a little Rulai camera with like 8 megapixels and um, 4 times digital zoom. So it's literally like a point and shoot type of thing. Um, and I used it really much to document myself, take pictures of myself or photograph and film my friends. And that was really much what I used it with. The quality wasn't really good even at that time. I realized that it was, it was right, but it was just nice to have something apart from your cell phone to use to take pictures. So. That's something I really appreciated with this camera. And yeah, so I was the girl who basically, if you have those friends who film you and then a couple of years later, they make like a video out of it to send it to you, that was me. And this is the camera I kind of used to document and create like um, little videos then to send to my friends as a teenager. And that was, it was fun to do. And then, we move on to the camera that I literally um, um, yeah, bought it myself. I saved money for a couple of months and then um, I decided to buy myself this Fujifilm uh, Finepix. So it's called like a bridge camera. It's still kind of like compact but um, the lens is a bit better and it's just very more the quality was just way better than this it still wasn't as good and like if it was like overexposed and um, you will get like this purple light flare and i didn't really like that but apart from that i was really happy because at that point i was like i want to see this nice macro images so um this camera was giving me the little macro situation so i really love that and then we move on to uh, my analog camera that I don't have that long, to be honest. I have it like since last year. And um, I've been taking pictures in Ghana with for the first time, but I've just been using like quite cheap uh, film stock from Kodak, like Kodak Gold, very quite simple, nothing crazy. But I wanted to try it with like with the Portra 800 and other film stock, even from Fuji, I've never tried any Fuji film, film stock. So that's something I want to experiment with. And that's this camera. And then we we'll move on. Like this is the lens, uh, my 50mm lens that is representing my Nikon D3100 that I am actually using right now to film myself. And um, I love that camera. It has brought me a long way. Also, I saved my own money for that camera as well. And it took me forever, especially if you don't have that much money. You always feel like, okay, hmm. But I was motivated. I think I bought it when I was like maybe 17, 18. And I loved it ever since. And at one point, I upgraded to kind of get myself a lens to it. And that really uplifted the level because um, I know I in general I just shoot like with this prime lens I never use like the kit lens that came with it so that's really much me and yeah I've shot great images with this and if I needed like a camera that could do more or was faster or anything else in general I just borrow cameras because um, as a student, you don't. I don't have really have the capacities to um, spend a lot of money on my gear, so I just been borrowing from university most of the time. And in general, they have great gear, so I could basically use that and test it out. And I'm now thinking of which camera to buy next, and I'm saving again for the new camera. But I think it will take a bit of time for me to figure out which one is going to be. I think one thing that is really important is um, to always remember that um, you don't need the most fanciest, the most nicest, the most expensive, the most, I don't know, the most uh, techy tech um, cameras and anything to create good or nice work. 
I think it's always just good to start with what you have and what you got and not to get too caught up with what everyone else is using and what else you could be buying and anything like people are laughing at me because I was I'm still using an iPhone 6s and I'm like people why <laughs> why are you laughing at me it doesn't even matter because it really doesn't so I think this I, this is the same kind of sentiment I have with my cameras um, until now but as I've said before now I feel like okay I want to upgrade and um, because it's just like this camera that I'm using right now is just um, reaching its limits I don't I feel like it's not fast enough for me anymore and it's not as good in low light conditions so and it had hard it has hard time to focus so these are the, the, the moments where I'm like okay no I'm done with you but I'm literally working on it to uh, make that happen. But I'm really excited to maybe um, yeah, test these cameras out again just to see how how they are. <clears throat> because we, we just upgrade and we go forward and we forget like where we came from. And it's just always so important to remember yourself. You're humble. I'm still humbling. I'm hu with my humble beginnings and my humble progress. So that's just really nice, I think, to just have um, the lenses, the camera still. Um, I remember, like, I decided to do these videos when I went to my mom. I gifted this to my mom a couple of years ago, but she never used it when I upgraded myself. And then I was like, hmm, I might just take it. And I just felt very sentimental about my cameras. And I was like, okay, I need to do a video about this. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it really um, doesn't matter what you have. You just work. Even if it's just your phone, it's completely fine. Because I think also something I have to remember myself always to. The most important thing is to shoot. And it's just to create. And thinking about the composition and about the setup and about the story you want to tell. I think is the most important thing if creating photographs or creative um, things in general because it's just something that um, the more you get into it the more sometimes you get very um, in your head as in comparison when you're starting out with something new when you're learning something new the, the greatest thing about it is just you just so innocent about it and you just take the camera, you don't really care what it is and you take the paintbrush or whatever and you just do it and you don't really worry too much about the outcome and that's something I miss sometimes because I still, not still, I'm starting to get more of this kind of creative blocks where I overthink and overthink so much that um, I'm scared to fail that I create work that isn't really um, I'm not happy about and then I just really kind of avoid shooting but um, I don't really think this is what photography is about and this is also not how um, I think you learn to photograph well. I'm also not a super techy person until now. I'm now starting to get into the nitty gritty bitty things. I don't even know. Do you say that that way? Well, I'm just starting to get into um the little things that makes a good camera because now that i want to upgrade i want to make sure that i kind of um buy a camera that makes sense to me um yeah and that's really it so as i'm saying i'm not really techy i'm not really i don't really know much but i just do what i feel so i think that's what uh, my work and what i do is informed about that it's always about what i feel and what is important to me and the people in front of it because I love shooting people so much that's literally um, something I could do every day even though I'm quite introverted and I don't really see <laughs> much people especially now um, I still enjoy the most to shoot people and to make people feel good about themselves and it's just giving them the moment um, and the feeling of hey I am um interesting and i'm i love giving people attention just seeing them as the beautiful being they just are and i hope that i can start shooting more in general and i have to do anyway because i still have to do my bachelor project 
struggle is real but we get that done as well um yeah it's 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 something else it is something else but yeah other than that i just think it's just about um shooting experimenting with gels without gels um outside inside building home studios what i also wanted to do like a youtube video about where maybe i shoot myself because <laughs> why not um yeah but it's very simple and i'm really happy that i still have my cameras and that i'm gonna do a little bit more with them until i upgrade and that's really much it i hope you enjoyed the video and if so um leave a comment and subscribe and I hope to see you soon again. Bye.